Millions of people are getting ready for a big day of cooking, which means stoves will be working overtime, and it's no surprise. A lot of kitchen accidents happen on Thanksgiving. According to the National Fire Protection Association, Thanksgiving is the peak day for home cooking fires, followed by Christmas Eve. There were 2,400 residential fires reported from 2014 to 2016, adding up to about $19 million in property loss. NBC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson is live tonight showing us how to stay safe in the kitchen tomorrow. Hey, Lexi. It's important to think the cooking process through because if you don't, you could get close to hot oil and it could be deadly. Oh, boy. Explosive fires. nerve racking moments caused by frozen turkeys being dropped into piping hot oil. We've dropped a 21 pound turkey into a pot of boiling oil that we overfilled on purpose. The hot oil exploded up and out. If somebody was standing next to the pot, they would have been critically burned. Just to see his feet bandaged and arm, it looked like he'd been through it. A few weeks ago, 15-year-old Joshua Keller was critically burned. Mark Tweedale, a close family friend, says Joshua suffered third-degree burns to 25% of his body after his family says a grease fire broke out in the kitchen. Even get a chance to get the chicken in the pan. As soon as he lifted the cover from that pan, that grease ignited, slipped while he was trying to put it out, you know, landed right in the fire. To avoid fires, important safety tips to remember. Never use a frozen turkey because the ice and water will react with the hot oil causing this. Don't overfill the oil in the pot, and if there is a grease fire, don't use water to put it out. It will only make it worse. If a fire does happen, you want to know how to use one of these. For example, you want to stand eight feet away and move this back in a back and forth motion. Now, if you don't get any results within 10 minutes, get out of the house and call 911. Reporting in Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson for NBC Charlotte.